Current temperature outside is about 24 degrees Fahrenheit. Not a super, super cold day out here. But if you're out here long enough and you start to get maybe a little bit damp or you're just, you got that, that cold chill to you, how do you warm up, you know, other than getting a big campfire going? And in these conditions, honestly, um, a campfire is going to be a little bit of a struggle for almost everybody to collect wood, dig down, get underneath the snow, all that stuff. So is there something you can do? Yeah, if you have your wool blanket and you have one of these, a little candle, you can warm up. This is a trick the old timers used all the time. Step number one, find yourself a tree. Um, I think it's way more comfortable if you can lean up against a tree and do this. But uh, I mean, I guess you could do it in the open air also. Um, you're gonna take something, it can be your gum blank, it could be your slip pad, it can just be the tarp you have along with you and um, get that down on the ground. What you don't wanna do is find yourself sitting on the, the cold snow. I mean, we're, we're cold to begin with, right? So now we're gonna take our blanket and we're gonna just drape it across ourselves. Okay, so I'm all bundled up inside here right now. Um, I have a blanket that if I pull it over, it to totally covers me up, okay? Um, and that is important because now what we're gonna do is we're gonna light that candle. We're gonna place that candle in between our legs here. We're gonna pull that blanket over and allow that heat from the candle to warm the inside of the blanket up. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're gonna be breathing fumes. You're gonna be breathing smoke. It's not that bad. This is one of those techniques that if you know it, okay, breathing in that little bit of smoke or a little bit of fume from the candle is gonna be well worth it so you don't freeze to death. So just keep that in mind, okay? Again, an old timer trick. They weren't too worried about all this stuff. I think they died when they were like 40 some anyway. Okay, now before I flip this over, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna light this so you can see what my setup here looks like. All right, so we got this thing lit right now. At this point, I'm just gonna set it down here. The snow is actually gonna help hold that up. And now I would flip this over. Now you could have done this with the blanket already flipped over you. There's uh, no problem to do that, okay? But um, in our case, for the video, we wanted to do that, all right? All right, so you're stuck in here with me and a, uh, a candle, okay? So now what we can do is we can sit in here and allow this time to uh, close up a Dan, start to warm this up inside here, okay? So uh, now we're just gonna sit, we're gonna relax for a little bit and see if it warms up at all. Now, no joke, after a short time, okay, we're almost at 40 degrees. So um, it's going up real quick, real steadily, all right? So I'm just gonna let this sit here for a little bit. I can already feel the warmth building up inside here. Now what you need to realize through this is I have the camera, the tripod, the microphone, all in here. So this is all airspace that's sort of wasted, okay? Um, you can see it's almost at 40. So if the camera wasn't in here and I can get this area a little bit tighter, I'd even be generating more heat. So let's let this go a little bit, and then uh, you can see we're already fogging up from the warmth in here, okay? Um, so let's let this go a little bit, and then see what happens. So in a short time, look at how much that temperature has went up. I mean, it is really warming up in here. I have a lot of steam coming off of my gloves, off of damp parts of my body. The, the camera has a lot of, of moisture now on it because the snow's melting off it. Um, but Wow, definitely a viable thing. And just like that, with a candle, you can warm yourself up super easy out here in the woods. Um, huge difference when I actually open this thing up. So this is something that um, Horace Kephart wrote about, Nesmic wrote about. So I thought, well, Dan Wolak should also video about it too, because it's definitely a cool thing that you can do. It's quick, it's easy, it's effective. There's not any skill level to it, and uh, you'll be good to go. You just need a candle, something to light it with, and your trusty old blanket and you'll be good to go. So uh, give this one a shot, tool for the toolbox. A lot of questions too with the blankets. They are gonna be in stock in the next week and a half. So if you want one, uh, hit us up, 
we'll be having them on the website. So uh, that's it. All right. Until next video, stay in the woods. Visit us at coldcrackerbushcraft.com. Stay in the woods, stay in the woods, stay in the woods.